Alright, how's it going everyone? I made a squid video a couple days ago on how to salt squid. I walked you guys through the whole process. If you didn't watch it, it'll be linked right up, right up, right up here somewhere. But I'm going to be showing you guys how it turned out and let's get into it. Alright, so I just finished taking this out of the fridge. Um, I let it sit for approximately two days. If I left it in for longer, it would continue to dry out. But I'm going to start packing it and showing you guys what it looks like. There's one on top here. You could tell that it's very, very flexible. It's very, very flexible. It doesn't feel wet to the touch. And it's really tough. Like, I'm trying to rip it with my fingers right now, and it's not letting me do it. So that's... A good sign that means that a lot of the moisture has been drawn out so I just finished taking out all of the pieces of the squid and as you can see they are very 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 dry and there doesn't appear to be any moisture on them whatsoever which is really good over time in the water these will slowly begin to soften up and even if they do if you still have them at the end of the day you can still throw them into the salt with the bag and you could basically reuse them over and over again that's why this method is so beneficial. And the salt here, it's not smelly at all and it's still very dry. So I'm able to reuse it over and over again. Once it starts smelling or once it starts looking like it's very damp, that's when you want to stop using it. Um, and again, you could use things like shrimp, you could use things like bait fish. It works really well. The bellies here have also done a really good job. Like as you can see, like they're not ripping at all. Um, you could imagine that unless it's like a very toothy predator, there's no way that you're going to be able to like be able to rip it unless it softens over time. Um, but it'll keep your bait on the hook a lot longer, which is why this method's very beneficial. So now all you'd really have to do is just grab them and put them in a Ziploc bag and put some of this salt or some new salt into a Ziploc bag so that it could stay fresh forever and you don't necessarily need to refrigerate it at this point most of the moisture it's almost all of the moisture has came out so you could just go ahead and put it in a drawer and keep it in a nice cool place and it should be fine for when you go out the next time to fish thank you for watching subscribe if you want more videos just like this I'll be posting more videos soon about more rigs and until then I'll see you guys in the next shot